Hello and welcome, I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter, thanks for joining us. Well, when you think of canines, you typically think of German Shepherds, but did you know your dog could be a search and rescue dog. That's right, a local nonprofit right here on the Sun Coast says if the dog can learn, they can do it. Now, if you have a dog, make sure to grab them because this is sure to be a story you both will enjoy. These four-legged investigators of our future are trained in our own backyard. Peace River Canine Search and Rescue Unit is a group of dogs and their owners who train to find missing people and human remains. They double as pets and then they work as working dogs on the other on the sideline. It doesn't matter the size of the dog or the breed of the dog. It just matters where the dog wants to work. So essentially these dogs are living a double life. Yeah, they do. And the minute they see the blue shirt come out, they're at the back door waiting to go. They do know when it's time to work, it's time to work, and they all get very serious about their jobs and they handle it extremely well. President of Peace River Canines, Mike Hadsell, and his dog Nixie are joining other handlers and their dogs for their weekly training session near Mayaka Forest. They're incredible hunters. Um, and if you think about the dog's natural instincts, the dog's natural instinct is to hunt. Whether it's a person that's wandered away because of um, you know, Alzheimer's or autism, um, or whether it's a person that's deceased, um, and you're asking the dog to um, go out in some of the scrub like you see here, and that humans can't really get into in a, in a rapid way um, and find the, the remains of the human. So we put these canines to the test. First up, German Shepherd Callie, sent to sniff out and find a cadaver bone buried in a large field. After giving the cue to go, she takes off. <laughs> Sorry about the, the reward, a game of tug of war. And in order to get it, she must signal her handler with what's called a laying and nose push. For Callie, it didn't take long. She happens to want to work constantly. Um, she gets up at six o'clock every morning and says it's time to work. So it's kind of my job to make sure that she's constantly entertained. <laughs> so, but she does have an off switch and she does have a very sweet personality. Next up, a Cocker Spaniel named Morgan, tasked with a tracking and trailing test looking for any human odor. This time, I played the role of the missing person. So what you're doing right now, you don't even realize it, you're laying scent. Now it's on. Morgan picks up a scent, that scent gets stronger, he shifts direction to hone in, and that super sniffer finds me. You yeah. found me! <laughs> now Nixie, a seasoned veteran of Peace River Canines, she's been trained to find any person in an area up to 160 acres. The goal is to see me go back to her handler and then bring him back. Let's see if she can find me. Particularly for autistic patients and uh, dementia people, mm -hmm. they're oftentimes scared. Okay. And they'll hide from the searchers. Oh, there she is. She did her job, so now they get to play. A job well done by all of these dogs, but it's not always easy. There's a lot of pressure when you show up on a search scene. You know, you got law enforcement, they got all kinds of people that are there putting pressure on you, and uh, they got to learn to deal with all that as well as do their job, which is what they're trained to do. Peace River Canines is a nonprofit absorbing all the costs of getting these dogs ready. When we fix a cost to a search dog, at the end of the training of the handler and the search dog, we valued it somewhere around $12,000. They provide answers and they're a resource that you otherwise might not have. Um, the dogs have a very specific um, ability that humans don't have and they can get into places that humans may not necessarily be able to get into um, and they can provide information that otherwise we would not be able to find out. Scott, recently those Peace River canines were put to the test when they had to help in the search and rescue for missing teen Jabez Span, who has been missing since September. Yeah, unfortunately still remains missing. Right.